Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Megan. Today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a deep conditioner that I had my eye on for quite some time. Shout out to the first natural hair video of the year. Go and try your luck. Test me in again. We let it rain. Please don't start us up. Got that black and white. They ain't game. It's the officer. Please don't search us. We don't got a thing. Tell her park it up. Then that ass be poking. So guys, I finally did it. I finally broke my no buy and I ended up purchasing this deep conditioner by Curl Dynasty. Guys, I was so intrigued by the actual name of this. This is actually called Pumpkin Mint Deep Conditioner. And so I love anything with mint. Because it had the word mint in it, I was like, okay, it sounds absolutely delicious. And so I had to get my hands on it. Well, I was casually in Target. That was not on my list. Y'all know how Target runs go. You go in there for one thing and then the trip turns into several things. Well, happened to pass by the natural hair aisle, big mistake number one, and I saw that it was on sale and I was like, okay, I need it. I want to review it. I've been wanting it, so might as well treat yourself, girl. So, before we get into the video though, if you have not yet subscribed, this, which you're waiting on, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so that way you can be notified every time I drop a new video. So, let's get into the video. All right, so first of all, I just want y'all to see. This is, I'm actually opening it for the first time, as y'all can see. So y'all know, y'all get my first real, honest, raw impressions. Okay, I like the smell. I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit more minty. But it has a fair share of pumpkin and mint, so that makes sense. So this is how it looks. It looks like it has some kind of herbs inside of it. I don't know if y'all see those little tiny specks. And so let's look at the consistency. Okay, it's pretty thick, but then again, it's not as thick as most deep conditioners that I deal with. This one is kind of on the runny side. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'm actually starting off on freshly washed hair. I washed with some of my faves. Check out that video if you missed it, but I washed with Eden Body Works and I conditioned with Eden Body Works as well. All right, so let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a generous amount. And of course, I'm gonna start on my ends first. Off top, I really feel like it is very smoothing on my hair. Once I put the conditioner, the deep conditioner on my hair, it just feels very smooth. Um, I am being very generous as I am applying this. So yeah, now this is the deep conditioner. And what I'm noticing is like, you know when sometimes when you put apply deep conditioners, the product kind of just sits on top of your hair. It's actually penetrating my strands. Now, as far as slip, my hair was detangled prior to this. My back section is very easy to finger detangle with. Now this section, I'm feeling like it doesn't have that great of a slip. Like I'm having problems with my thicker section, if that makes sense. But so far, so good. I'm probably gonna have to get my dimming brush to finish detangling as I apply the conditioner. Yeah, I'm not getting too much slip from this, but I'm gonna use my good old dimming brush and we're gonna go from there. All right guys, so I am all done deep conditioning and this is how my hair is looking. I actually love the way my hair is looking at this point. Like I feel like my curls are kind of juicy. This is it. What I did not do, and I probably should have done this in the beginning of the video, but let's just kind of look at the ingredients because like I said, it doesn't feel, my hair doesn't feel super soft, but it does feel like the product has penetrated inside my hair. So basically, this is for, okay, this makes sense. I should have 
read the directions before i tell it to my students all the time reading is fundamental but basically it says that this deep treatment mask is for was designed to penetrate the hair shaft to repair and work to prevent further damage this product is packed with natural vitamins nutrients antioxidants to strengthen your strands okay so that is what i'm getting from this like i said it doesn't feel soft but it feels smooth and yes i definitely get strengthened from this um, deep conditioner but let's look into the ingredients the first ingredient is organic aloe juice water blood orange extract aloe vera extract fig fruit extract peppermint leaf extract now one thing about this i was thinking mint so i was thinking tingle i was thinking soothing i was thinking i was gonna have a great feel on my scalp and i'm not getting that at all like mint we could have just kept the mint out it does kind of have a mint smell but not very potent it's more uh pumpkin for sure so yeah, I'm kind of disappointed about it not having that tingle because that's what I was really expecting, but it does not. So, I mean, pretty basic deep conditioning instructions. Have my plastic cap. And we're gonna try to fit all this hair in there. I am using my good old hot head, of course. So I will be back with the rinsed out product and my final thought. All right guys, this is the deep conditioner all the way rinsed out. As you can see, my curls are popping. Um, I try not to really touch it too much. It's like pretty much soaking wet. Let me just take some of this water out. So let's get into my final thoughts about this deep conditioner. As I was rinsing this out, it came to mind with the smells like, it smells more orange, like orange than pumpkin. So I don't know, I think they kind of missed the mark with pumpkin and mint. Um, and then when I looked at the ingredients, I told y'all blood orange extract was pretty high on the um, ingredients list. So, I mean, I don't know. Pumpkin mint is a far fetch. I don't smell the pumpkin. I, I more so smell the orange. Um, like I said, there's not a real tingly like with mint. If you've tried the Myel Organics Babista and Mint Deep Conditioner, that is mint. This is far from that feeling. You're not gonna get a tingling with this. However, um, when I'm feeling my hair, it does feel much more softer than I thought it was gonna feel. When I applied this on, I told y'all that it felt really smooth. It felt like more like a strengthening, but when I touch it, I do feel the moisture. It feels really good. So the number one question is, would I repurchase this product? I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I probably would not repurchase. Not because it's not a good product, just because I did not get that wow factor that I was looking for. You know, the title of this deep conditioner just makes you feel like you're about to just be wow, like pumpkin mint deep treatment. <laughs> I don't know, I just felt like I was going to be wowed. Am I wild? Not really. I mean, the deep conditioner did get my hair soft. Um, I felt like as far as slip wise, I've had better. As far as the feeling on my hair, I've had better. I was really looking forward to that tingling sensation or at least a cooling sensation or a cooling feeling and I did not get that. So kind of disappointed on that. But yeah, so that is my review for the Curl Dynasty Pumpkin Mint Deep Treatment. Let me know down below if you've tried it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Well guys, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And yeah, it's time for me to roll and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.